Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to build an electric snare from zero. These are aluminium clamps that I'm going to use. Two different sizes piezo sensor. A female jack connector 6.35 mm. A trigger cone. I post the link below where you can find all these objects. A PCB breadboard. A carbon fiber anti-vibration plate, made for cameras. You can find this easily on AliExpress. Some Velcro. And obviously a lot of screws. This is the beautiful acrylic shell of 14 inches that I'm going to use. I already made some holes for holding the aluminium clamps. This bigger one is for the female jack connector. This acrylic disc is for holding the trigger and I applied some Velcro in the center. Let's start to assembly. Beginning with the clamps. The clamps are obviously regulable. Now I apply the acrylic disc on the clamps using four screws. Okay, about piezo connections. We have a positive side, the internal one and a negative side. I'm going to use two piezo sensors, a 27mm head sensor and a 35mm rim sensor. I follow the regular Roland schematic connections. I'm going to connect the head positive and the rim negative to the sleeve. The rim positive to the ring. And the head negative to the tip. But in this project I want to use this PCB breadboard. So I apply on it the 27mm head piezo and the 4-pin FPC female connector. With the rim piezo apart, the connections, following the Roland schematic that I showed before, are going to be like these. Seems tricky but is the same concept. Starting with the FPS connector. This cable is the one that I'm going to connect to the rim positive, corresponding to the ring. Now it's time to stick the 27mm head piezo to the PCB. Again the positive of this piezo is connect to the sleeve. and the negative to the tip. This cable is the one that we are going to connect to the negative rim piezo that is connect to the positive head piezo. I stick the 35 mm rim piezo to the bottom carbon plate. Very solid as always. I'm going to stick the PCB made before to the top carbon plate. These cable passing throw the holes are the ones to connect to the rim piezo as I said before. Once assembled, it's time to the trigger cone. This is the head and rim trigger. 
with some velcro on the bottom. I use another FPS female connector for the female jack connector. In this way with a flat cable I'm able to connect the jack connector to the trigger. With the trigger complete assembled, it's time to stick it with the velcrum on the acrylic disc. This solution make it removable, anytime, in the easier way possible. The jack connector that I assembled before. The flat cable that I'm going to use to connect the trigger with the jack connector. I love this one because it's a clean connection and especially replaceable. The trigger cone for a better sensitivity need to be to a 2mm over the drum shell line. As a mesh head, I use the Roland one for the top side. And for the bottom side too. I'm using this black hoops with pearl tune lugs. For a better strength I use this metal disc made from an old mesh head, 